President Trump's younger daughter Tiffany has kept a lower profile than her older half-siblings in the years since her father's inauguration, but in November 2022, she tied the knot at an over-the-top wedding. In light of her nuptials, here's what to know about Donald Trump's youngest daughter. Tiffany Trump recently married Michael Bulos, who grew up in Lagos, Nigeria. His wealthy family apparently owns a company that trades in vehicles, equipment, retail, and construction. Bulos lives in London and reportedly met Trump in Greece in 2018, and as evidenced by photos posted on Instagram, Trump brought him to the White House around Christmas time in 2019, and again in 2020. Like so many graduates during COVID, Tiffany celebrated the milestone virtually. She recently posted on her Instagram stories about graduating from law school, but at this point it's unclear what she'll do next. Here she is with Mariana Jantz, a friend from Georgetown. At the 2019 State of the Union, many Democratic women chose to wear white to honor the legacy of women's suffrage in the United States. Tiffany Trump also appeared at the event in an all-white ensemble, though it's unclear if she was purposefully trying to send a sartorial message, or if it was an unintentional coincidence. Tiffany Trump's relationship with her father has not always been any easy one. Though she visited her father in the White House and attended Easter services with the President and First Lady last spring at Mario Lego, people reports that behind the scenes, Tiffany's already strained relationship with her father has hit new lows since he took office in January 2017, with the pair going months at a time without contact. She went a very long time without seeing him, a source close to Tiffany told the magazine. The last time she was at a family function with him, it was awkward for her, and she didn't feel totally welcome. She and her longtime boyfriend, Ross Mechanic, split after she started law school. Fashion, event, leg, nightclub, eye, fun, dress, fashion design, whole couture, long hair, the two dated for more than two years and broke up when she moved to Washington, D.C. to attend Georgetown Law, page 6 reports. Mechanic, 23, and Trump met as undergraduates at the University of Pennsylvania, and he attended her father's inauguration. He is reportedly a data engineer at Cadre, a New York-based real estate investment platform founded by Jared and Joshua Kushner. While Donald Trump and the rest of the first family rang in 2018 at Mario Lego, the president's youngest daughter celebrated at a Playboy party. She was apparently the guest of honor at an event thrown by Cooper Hefner, the late Hugh Hefner's son, in Los Angeles. Tiffany and her older half-siblings have always appeared to get along well, but on-air radio conversations between Howard Stern and Donald Trump, unearthed in the fall of 2017, revealed that Ivanka and Donald Jr. apparently tried to cut their younger sister out of her inheritance. Stern asked Trump, a frequent guest on his show, if Donald Jr. and Ivanka were trying to bump off a child. Trump responds Tiffany. Is there any truth to that? Inaudible Tiffany. Stern asks. Tell me the truth, though, the radio host says, after Trump tries to dodge the question. Yes, Trump said. She did appear with her three older siblings on the then-president-elect 60 Minutes interview. She had this to say. I mean, I don't think we can really prepare for our father becoming president. But we were all there together with everyone that's worked so hard. And my dad has worked so hard. And it's just it's really awe-inspiring. The very Tiffany and Company, located on the corner of 5th Avenue and 57th Street in New York City, made famous by Audrey Hepburn. Donald Trump completed his 58-story masterpiece, the Trump Tower Skyscraper, on the prime slice of real estate adjacent to Tiffany's in 1982, 11 years before his fourth child was born. You may recognize Marla Maples from Dancing with the Stars. When the Donald's marriage to his second wife Maples ended, she packed up for the West Coast, raising Tiffany in Los Angeles. But where are they now? A 17-year-old Tiffany told Oprah, My mom and I have always been very close, since she did raise me as a single mom, everyone I know is like, wow you guys have a really good relationship. She's with me a lot of the time. Judging from her Instagram feed, the duo hangs out a lot giving Coachella vibes by the pool, zip lining at Sundance, wearing matching LBDs at the Carlo. They both broke out some serious tango moves on a recent episode of DWTS. She graduated from the University of Pennsylvania. Attending up and is a family tradition her dad, brother Don Jr., and sister Ivanka all went there. Tiffany, far right, is pictured above with Don Jr., Barbara Walters, Ivanka, and Eric. She's got all as a pen, so we're proud of her, the Donald told People in December of 2014. She once arrived a day late to a Dujer photo shoot because she was writing a paper for a summer class. Big sister Ivanka, who runs a fashion business, reportedly scored her little sister an internship at the fashion title. Rumor has it that Tiffany lunched with Anna Winter. At 17, she released a dance song called Like a Bird. It was heavy on the auto-tune. She lent her walk to Just Drew Designer and fellow RKOI, Andrew Warren, that's him with Tiffany, for his fall 2016 show, Modeling a Navy Blazer and Tights. On day two of 2016's Republican National Convention, Tiffany addressed the delegates. Please excuse me if I'm a little nervous, she began. When I graduated college a few months ago, I never expected to be here tonight addressing the nation. 
Despite the nerves, she used her speech to cast a soft light on the then nominee, highlighting his strengths as a father. In person, my father is so friendly, so considerate, so funny, and so real, she said. I have admired my father all of my life, and I love him with all my heart.